Hey, good evening. So Friday, September 24th. Thanks so much for being here tonight. You know, we're starting to get towards the end of Psalms 34. And as I mentioned this morning, David is shifting to where he's actually instructing us about how we should relate in light of the issues of the mess ups that we make. That's a cool thing. Typically, when I mess up and I don't do well, we have pity parties or people get bat down on us or just kind of, we feel just kind of yucky and down. But David takes it from this point of the rescue of God, of his utter foolishness and stupidity, praises God, gives testimony to God's grace, invites him to trust, invites us to trust him, and then shows us how it's done. And it, it talks about the way of the righteous, the way that we obey and serve God, where we keep our mouths pure, we don't gossip, we speak well of God. But then in these last portions from verses 15 to 22, he talks about how God cares for us. Can you imagine? See, this is the, a, David is anticipating the gospel. Through the Holy Spirit, he's anticipating the gospel. Because this beauty, this joy, which is so consistent with this music that's being, again, thanks again to Sharon Gerber for this. this. This beautiful music that's playing reminds us of the care of God. So instead of being chastised, instead of being beat up because we were utterly silly and forgot about God, and we forgot his goodness to us, David turns it the other way around and talks about how good God is for us. Listen to this in verse 15. The eyes of the Yahweh are towards the righteous and his ears towards their cry for help. David needed God's help. God was right there. He was watching him. He's always watching him. He's always watching you and me. The disposition of our Lord, of Jesus Christ, is to care for you and me and to watch out for us, even when we go off the crazy end, even when we trust ourselves. It's such a beautiful thing, this constant love and care of God. The face of Yahweh is against evildoers to cut off their memory from the earth. The face of, you see, we think the face of God is against us because we've made a mistake or we have even sinned and done the wrong thing. We think that God is gonna be displeased with us. God is not. Jesus took that pain on the cross. He took that suffering, he paid that penalty. So our God, he's looking out for us. The cry, they cry and Yahweh hears. And that's what we heard in the first part, right? This poor fellow cried and God answered him. They cry and Yahweh hears, and from all their distresses, he delivers them. Again, there's none of these all statements. We'll talk about the all statements in the morning. That'll be our final look at, at this psalm. But he, he hears and delivers them from all of our distresses, all of our problems. And then this final section where we're gonna look at tonight. Yahweh is near the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. See, David had lost his way. The things of this world pile in on us and we feel crushed. We feel the weight of death. We feel the weight of just all the inequity that's out there and the sin and the way that God is not honored and so often the way that we are not honored. Listen carefully to this. There's so often when you and I do the right thing and it looks like a boatload of garbage falls in on us. But you see, that's what Jesus did. That's why Peter quotes this in his section in 1 Peter 2 and 3, where he urges people to do the right thing, even if we're penalized for it, even if we're punished for it. Because this unites us with God. That's what Christ did. Yahweh is near the brokenhearted. Remember, he's looking for us. 
His eyes are searching to take care of us. Yahweh is near the brokenhearted, and he saved those crushed in spirit. Just, just a short meditation, I listen to this thought. When I am brokenhearted, I don't especially feel like God is near. That's why we have to make the scripture our refuge, because the scripture tells us that God is near, whether I feel him there or not, whether I think it or not, God is near. He is with us. These verses, 15 to 18, are a beautiful encouragement. The eyes of Yahweh are towards the righteous, and he hears in his ears, and he hears their cry for help. The face of Yahweh is against evildoers to cut off their memory from the earth. He's not against us. He's against those who are against God. They will not win out. He just makes a simple statement here. But the people that God loves, they cry and Yahweh hears. And from all their distresses, he delivers them. God has promised that, whether it feels like it at the moment or not. Yahweh is near the brokenhearted, and he saves the crushed in spirit. And the weight of sin around us, and sometimes the weight of sin of those attacking us unfairly, crushes us. God hears us. He reaches out to us. He protects us. He gives us hope. That's a joyous thing that you and I can be involved in. We can rejoice in the beauty and wonder of God because he hears us. David's story, he was foolish. God heard him, rescued him, protected him, saved him from his mess. And brothers and sisters, that's where you and I need to be. God is there searching us out we're not alone in our brokenness. We are there with his healing mercies. And that's the thought for this night. Please, if you haven't subscribed, turn on post notifications. Check us out, everydaytalk247.com. Rest well, knowing that God, he's near you and he hears you. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.